uh, citing first sure. timothy 416 watch your life mm-hmm. and doctrine closely persevere mm-hmm. in them because if you do you will save both yourself yeah. and your hearers yeah why Beautiful. paul ask us to watch doctrine closely can you explain more on these verse your suggestions on how to perceive persevere okay so good question uh, brother danny and a lovely verse uh, especially the last portion is very important here paul is writing to timothy timothy is now the leader of the efficient church he is uh, uh, timid and he wants to come back uh, leave ephesus and come back to paul now what's happening in all of this is the background is that there's a lot of false doctrine that is going on there people are majoring on the minors okay and uh, the younger people that don't know uh, any better are beginning to follow them especially the uh, younger widows okay as we saw and so watching your doctrine closely what well, doctrine basically is sound teaching okay so watching your doctrine closely paul says is very important okay what you believe uh, decides how you behave okay belief influences behavior and so if we believe something wrongly if we make a major into a minor and a minor into a major our behavior also will effectively change and we will not be strong witnesses so what paul is telling young timothy is uh fight for your doctrine okay uh you know by this time 64 uh, to 67 ad the christian faith uh, has been there for about 30 years okay and uh, uh, the doctrine and the early understanding and creedal affirmations were all more or less set in place even though it might have just been a oral transmission so paul is saying hold on to doctrinal purity that's very important so non negotiable the church is in, in its infancy it has to last another two millennia so if you start allowing some chinese whispers to come in right away uh nobody can imagine what's going to happen so fight for doctrine contend for doctrine contend for your faith okay now persevere in doctrine i mean persevere and practice uh walk talk louder than talk talks isn't it so while you are trying to fight for doctrine and dogma you also have to have an emphasis on practice and just because you have a mental uh understanding of good theology or sound theology or sound doctrine it doesn't mean automatically that you are a truly spiritual disciple of christ okay you can have a mental appreciation and you can have the best theology in town and you can know all of the theological positions accurately but your life can actually be in total shambles so he's saying both these are very important and he's saying if you uh, give attention to these two things not only will you save those who listen to you you will also save yourself so just by virtue of being a teacher or a minister or a christian worker we should not assume then okay we are on a moral high ground uh, that we are getting a free ticket you know that uh, everything is going to be hunky dory in our spiritual life we'll get a badge in heaven and yeah ob- obviously maybe perhaps but he's saying you have to continue to contend and persevere only then the reward that your hearers are getting uh will you otherwise perhaps they will get saved and uh, you can even get disqualified so that's the idea thank you for bringing that up